So I've created a folder here by name Python. And inside this, I have a subfolder exercise. Now, as you can see, each of these folders are empty. I have this opened up in VS Code. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. So I'll click on this particular button over here. And I'm going to name this file app.py. So all Python files have the .py extension. So I'll press enter. And here we can start writing our Python code. So for first timers, I'm going to say print. Now this print you see over here is a function. Later on, we are going to delve into functions and perhaps write our own functions. But then we are looking at what the inbuilt functions that we have and how we can handle things. So we have print and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out a quotation mark and I'm going to say Kenneth. So Kenneth is my name. So in order to run this, there are two ways of running this application as you see over here. Now, when I hover around this particular button, I see run Python file in terminal. Now, when I click on this, the program has run and I have Kenneth that has been printed on the terminal. And that's exactly the instruction we gave it over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this up over here. So I'll type in clear and press enter. Now, after clearing this, another way of running this Python application is to come into the terminal and come and type in Python. Then I'll type in the name of the app or the application or the file. So I'll say app.py. And now we have Kenneth running over here. Now, let me come down and also come and do another print statement. And as you can see, um, because we are using IntelliSense and VS Code and some extensions, you can see that anytime we type um, anything, we get some lookup or some kind of a help. So these are information that will come in very handy. And this time around, we are going to type in hello world, like we are all quite used to. So when I save this and run this, I can see I now have Kenneth because Yes, I'm asking Kenneth to be printed. And I'm also asking Hello World to be printed in the terminal. So now we have Kenneth and Hello World. Now let me come in between Kenneth, these two print statements. And let me also bring out a print statement and say, learn Python and save this. So I'll do Control S and save. Now when I come and run it over here, first of all, let me clear this so that we see everything up over here and if I'm to run this I'm going to see Kenneth learn Python and hello world so clearly there's some kind of structure as far as the flow of the program is concerned so as you can see what the instruction we give first will be printed or will be executed first before the second one before the third one and any other one that follows in most cases, this is how the flow of work is going to be. So there's some kind of hierarchical routine. The first logic gets implemented first, before the second, before the third, in that order. But in some cases, unless we specify a particular condition or some kind of logic, then there will be some kind of looping one way or the other. We are going to see instances of that sort later on. So basically, this is going to be our first Python application. Now, before I end this video, let me also introduce you to what we refer to as commenting. So, I'm going to show you what a comment is and I'll later on explain. So, in order to put out a comment, you need to bring out the hash symbol. And let me just write, this is a comment. So, then what are comments? Comments are non-executable lines of quotes or statements we put on our code. And this is actually very good because... Sometimes um, you may run into hundreds or thousands of lines of code, and you may find it quite difficult knowing what is happening at some particular portions of the code. Imagine working on the code and you are giving the code about 10 years later to do some kind of modification. If there are no commenting to tell you that this is what is happening here and there, you may, you may get lost with your own code. So the comments are very important. There are some kind of descriptive notes you put along your code in order to help you or guide you. So this is how you write a comment. And if I should clear this up and come and run this, you can see that we still have Kenneth, Lem Python, and Hello World. Now, as you can see, we have 
this is a comment over here like i said comments are non-executable so they don't take up any space in memory now another way of writing a comment is we can actually come here at the end of the line as far as this um, line two is concerned i'll say this is the name So this is a very good example of how a comment should look like. So for instance, I'm printing and this is a name. Okay. So this is a name. So anytime I come back to this code, I know that, okay, then this portion should actually be, or should contain the name. So when I run this as well, we're only going to get Kenneth, learn Python and hello world. We are not going to see any of the comments because comments are non-executable codes.